Hey guys, what is going on? This is Cardinal Bird 5 and today I have a player review for you guys. We're going to be talking about the first baseman of the Kansas City Royals, Eric Hosmer. Now this isn't one of those sexy reviews you're probably thinking, you're probably wanting the pool holster review. Oh, don't worry, it'll come. Also probably do a PV review as well, but I figured this, this review is just long overdue because I'm using this card almost every day in my lineup at first base and he usually plays up. Like today he's usually playing up, uh, or he's playing up to 94 plus 6 to his hitting. So let's go ahead and break down this card by looking at the attributes. Contact versus righties and power versus righties is really, this is a platoon card, so you're going to use him for his hitting versus righties. Uh, his base attributes are 89 and 77, respectively. So if you look at those base, it's it's not nothing crazy, uh, but the contact is really good for the base. But now when he's playing up like today, plus 6, I know sometimes he can even play up, I think, plus 10. This card gets really ridiculous. Against lefties, he's not bad either, especially when playing up, say he's up playing up plus 10, he's 81 and 65. Um, and sometimes I'll leave him in the game, but yeah, his hitting is really good when he's playing up. But let's talk about, in my opinion, the most important aspects of this card and what makes it stand out from other first basemen, in my opinion. And there are so many good first basemen out there, but I picked this one, uh, and I'll explain why. The fielding, I love it. The fielding, the rea the reaction's okay. Although most first basemen don't have a great reaction in the game, so 69 is actually pretty good. Uh, the arm strength is amazing. Your 77 arm strength, you guys are probably like, well, that ain't yeah, that ain't much. That's really good for a first baseman. The arm accuracy as well. Like, keep in mind the first baseman will, you know, will cut off throws to home. So, it's nice to have arm accuracy and arm strength, especially for cutoffs. But they also can make plays from first to third or when turning double plays. So it's nice to have that. Something else that's really cool about this card is speed. He's got good speed, uh, 61 speed. Again, in comparison to like a shortstop or second base, might not be great speed, but that's really good speed for a uh, for a first baseman. So. I really like this card. I like my strategy for my main account is run prevention. I'm a big, big fan of run prevention. That's how I like to build my team around pitching, and I try to get the best hitters that also have spectacular defense. That's why I like guys like Beltre. Um, the A Rod, of course, is amazing at shortstop. Ichiro. So Hosmer just he just fits the you know the theme of my team. And that's defense and run prevention. He also throws left-handed, which is always a huge advantage. Uh, it's able to make that throw down to second a lot easier. Plus, he's able to make those snap tags a little bit easier and quicker as well. Plus, he's tall. He's like six foot four, so that's always a plus at first base. Next, we're gonna get into some tips with uh, hitting practice, and then I got some gameplay clips to show you guys as well. All right, guys. So we're facing uh, Jacob Degrom here. I do want to talk about Hosmer a little bit in my approach with him. And his capabilities. Now, let's we'll talk about real quick when he's playing up with inside edge. When he's playing up with inside edge, you're usually going to see him from anywhere from like 83 to 90 plus power. And in my opinion, when he's you know has that inside edge advantage, there's no other first baseman to use in my opinion. Like he's just he's got the contact, he's got the play vision, he's got the speed, he's got the defense. Yeah, I don't really know what else you want from a uh, first baseman. And the fact he throws left-handed. It's just a, another pro to have at first base. But anyways, let's actually get into a how I hit with Hosmer. Uh, nothing too crazy, but I will say this. Hosmer is really good, and sometimes I will try to focus on going up the middle or opposite field with him. Because when I have him batting, I kind of just think of, I don't know, for some reason I think of the Kansas City Royals last year and how they just grinded ABs, and they weren't ne necessarily out there trying to hit home runs every time. So sometimes that comes to my head, you know, and I'm, you know, once I show my opponent, I can pull the pitches and hit for power. What I'll try to do is I'll try to go up the little bit, ugh, go up the middle a little bit more. But don't get me wrong, when this card is playing up, even if it's not playing up, he still has the capability to hit bombs if you're able to pull pitches with power. Now talking about if you should power swing or not, uh, again, just look at the PCI size. This is one card you could usually get away with power swinging almost exclusively due to his high contact and plate vision. Um, but if the if the PCI is you know wider than the with the strike zone, and then I would recommend power swinging this card, especially when you're trying to hit home runs. Now, if you're just trying to go up the middle or do a hit and run, just use normal swing. And that's, that's something else to talk about this card is like his base running is good, his speed is good. So if you hit some, you know, up the middle or to the left side of the infield, you'll probably have some uh, opportunities to run out some ground balls for singles as well. So just one of my favorite first baseman to use, especially when he's playing up, guys. So I uh, hope those tips helped. As for starting out with your PCI, I don't cheat it anywhere really. Um, I, I feel like he has the bat speed to be able to get the BCI up and in. Um, it's just kind of personal preference. I usually just start everything in the middle and then I focus on what I want to do. Like right there, that's an Eric Hosmer hit off the freaking bag. What else could you ask for? Anyways guys, 
I uh, hope these tips helped. Next, we're going to get into some gameplay clips. Alright, so guys, we have some uh, actual head-to-head -head gameplay here for you guys. Now, this is actually off Aaron Sanchez. He hangs a curveball and bam, like Eric Hosmer. Like I said, the power is not an issue with at all with this guy. If you just, you know, you can power swing with him. Um, he has a pretty nice PCI, similar to, uh, I'd compare him to somebody like Eddie Murray. Here's another AB. Um, I show a lot of patience with Hosmer. I like to take a lot of pitches because I feel like I have, or he has really good ability to go up the middle uh, and opposite field when needed. And he has the speed to be able to run out some of those balls in play as well. So he's kind of, you know, he has two different things going for him. And he can become a contact hitter or he can hit for power if you need it. Uh, and he also has really good base running and speed for a first baseman. But we get to a 2-1 count here. He throws a hanging changeup and we just rip it in the right for a single. Uh, so like I said, Hosmer, not only a good home run hitter, he's also a great singles hitter as well with that high contact. Here's another AB. Ball gets by him there. I like to bat Hosmer in a couple different places. I Sometimes I'll put him in the two hole or sometimes I'll bat him like sixth in the six hole. I just feel like he uh, fits really fits really well there. Sometimes I like to bat him in the two hole. I like to do a lot of hit runs, you know, each row or my created player. Um, but I definitely see a lot of pitches with him. You just have to have a uh, approach with you know Hosmer. Two one count. We're looking for something to drive here. We get a fastball in the inner half. We're a little bit out front, so we have to tell ourselves to wait back a little bit. Two two count. He throws a slider. Looks like a slider down and in, and Hosmer just kept the barrel on the ball and rips a double. And this is where his speed comes into play here. A lot of first basemen are not going to be able to turn that into a double. Here's another game where I just get a hanging uh, hanging curveball. I don't know if you consider that hanging. It's more down and away, but Hosmer has that oppo power. Yes, he does. Like He can hit it up the middle. He can hit oppo. Um, I recommend trying to pull as many as you can with him to generate the most power. Here's another opponent. Uh, we're playing at Fenway Park. We get ourselves to an 0-2 count, but like I said, it doesn't matter if you have an 0-2 count on Hosmer. He has such good plate vision and contact. I just stayed stayed back on that ball. It was a hanging curveball, hung up in the zone a little bit. And Hosmer just rips it down the line for a double. And he, I tried to go three here. I probably shouldn't have. I mean, he, it took a perfect throw, but it is what it is. Finally, I want to show you my two favorite players with Hosmer thus far. You, you saw one in the intro. He makes an amazing throw to third. And like I said, guys, that's where that 77 arm strength comes into play there. Plus, he's a lefty, so he's able to transition to that throw and throw to third a little bit easier. But this is probably my final play, or my favorite play of Hosmer. Look at that amazing double play. That's the kind of plays you're going to get defensively with Hosmer. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is Carnal Number 5 signing out. Peace.